I'm a third year psychiatry resident here at the University of Washington. I chose the UW for residency because I was really impressed when I came here. From the fact that uh, I loved the energy and the enthusiasm of our program director to the breadth of the faculty and the t different things that people were doing here, I felt like those are the place where I could really experience a huge array, a huge variety within psychiatry. And I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do after residency, but that I would have exposure to so many different things and be able to, you know, be able to see that. Hi, my name is Cummings. I'm an R1 in the University of Washington Psychiatry program. And one of the reasons I chose this program is for the variety and training opportunities. Being an academic program that services not only Washington State, but Alaska, Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming, um, it, it, it services a lot of people in a lot of different ways. And it has all the different fellowship options as well. So I was undecided in terms of thinking about geriatric psychiatry versus child and adolescent psychiatry versus addictions. And so being in an academic program affords me the opportunity to explore in a big way. Hi, my name is Ritika Baraju. I'm a first year psychiatry resident at the University of Washington School of Medicine. I chose this program because I really wanted to be um, in a city on the coast at a large academic program with multiple fellowships um, with faculty that are interested in doing research on community mental health um, and substance use disorders. The other really neat thing that I feel like I've gotten a ton of exposure to here is collaborative care. And I think that as psychiatry and mental health moves in that direction, like this is the home of that. It's a home of collaborative care. The nice thing about doing psychiatry residency at University of Washington is that it has three different hospital systems. So it has the University of Washington Medical Center, Harborview Medical Center, which is our county hospital, and then the VA Medical Center, which services our veterans. The nice thing about being downtown is that it's kind of triangulated between the three hospital systems. So I get to walk to Harborview Medical Center. I get to either bike or link up to UW Medical Center. And I haven't yet biked down to the VA because I haven't been there, but my partner has and he makes it seem like it's it doable bike trip. You know, I've really enjoyed living in Seattle. There's things going on here. There's like culture and music, band, like bands that I like come through Seattle. And there's food that I enjoy and like the food scene that's happening here. But I also like that I can like reasonably walk and, and ride my bike across Seattle. I mean, I bike to work every day. And that was really important to me, finding a place that felt like there's a connection to being outside. I mean, I'm looking outside because like I can see the water from here. And that's, that's really important to me. The highlights this year, I think, are the things I was able to do outside of residency, um, which I think also speaks to the residency program itself in that I'm able to kind of manage a work-life balance um, as an intern, which is also a pleasant surprise about this program. And so the other day I got to snowshoe on Mount Rainier and that was definitely a highlight of this year. Some tips that I would give uh, med students who are going um, into residency prior to starting out would be um, find, finding a program where you can really see yourself belonging and also the city to see if you can really find your own community within that city because that's going to be really important as you transition um, through the years during residency. Um, and then also just making sure that um, the program has the different fellowship options that you might be interested in um, and that they have the faculty who may be interested in doing what you want to do in the future. I think that sometimes psychiatry can get pushed aside and, and mental health can be like, no, this is other. And here it's like, no, this is important. Like, it's, there's a lot of staff, there's a lot of resources that are dedicated to psychiatry and it feels different. It feels different to practice in a place where people value mental health or that's something that's respected and that feels like that's important to this institution. Like people care about this and it's, it's nice to have people care about what you care about.